Come put some thrift finds away with me. I love to thrift, but I love to style, store, and organize my thrift finds even more. So let's get to it. I generally start out with my earrings, but this time I have two rings. I got them at the thrift store. I don't believe that they're real gold or real stones, but you never know. Just to be safe, I'm going to clean them a little bit differently. This smaller one I like to wear as a midi ring, which is just halfway down the finger, and I just love that look. I usually soak all of my costume jewelry in hydrogen peroxide for 15 to 20 minutes, and I use my real jewelry cleaner for real gold and real gems. So instead of soaking them, I just scrub them down with both solutions. I put the midi ring on, and I'm going to put the other one away. Oh, and we did get a new bed in the primary bedroom. I keep my most worn jewelry in the closet, and I keep my rings in this acrylic lipstick container. It works perfectly for rings. So now let's move on to my magnet gallery. I decided to change this coaster into a magnet, and then of course I have my trinket shelf that I'm also going to put on the refrigerator. So I got my hot glue gun going, and let's put some magnets on. I'm going to use some little ones for this coaster. Let's start with this coaster. I think it'll be really cute with the rest of the fall magnets. Those tiny magnets I use for all sorts of pins, everything, but I had to buy some heavy duty ones for this shelf. In fact, I had a pack of six and I'm gonna use all six. I planned on putting them on with E6000, but it came with these little adhesive strips, so I'm gonna try those out. They seem pretty sturdy to me. So let's hang them up. First, the coaster. I don't think it really fits over here. I've thought about putting another gallery over here, so I'm gonna put it over on that side. And if you could hear that, it just sucked immediately to the fridge as soon as I got close. They are such strong magnets. You can see how hard it is for me to even peel it away. So as I open the door, I am not worried about this trinket shelf moving. But I'm going to give it a couple days before I put trinkets on it just to make sure that the adhesives will stay. Next up, let's put away this wooden trivet. I have a lot of trivets and I loved this one particularly because of the brass inlay. So I thought about displaying it on the wall. On this shelf, there is usually a mug holder to the right that's really tall. And so it would kind of balance out this whole space. And I'm going to use those sticky dots again. I find them so versatile. I put one on each of the feet of this trivet and I'm going to hang it up. I'm hoping it sticks and stays on the cold tile. If not, I will add a 3M instead. But I really like the way that that looks. The wood complements, but it's very subtle as well. Next, let's move on to the buttons. If you've been here long, you know that I've used buttons to cover up exposed screws like this one. I had a couple of pieces that were black that I thought that the black buttons would go better with. So I grabbed a black pack. The sticky dots come in handy once again. It works perfectly for this. And so I'm going to go and stick it right on the end of that exposed screw. It really finishes off the look and makes it look like it's hanging on a knob or something. This mirror is just leaning up against the wall for now because I do want to hang it. And so this whole area will be reconfigured in the future. But for now, I think it looks great. Since these were only 25 cents each, I went ahead and got a gold and a silver pack as well. And I'm going to store them in my craft closet. I don't want to put them away right now, so I'm going to put them in the to be put away bag that is almost full, so stay tuned for that video. These other buttons I was going to make into magnets to put on my fridge gallery, but I changed my mind and I'm going to make earrings. Since they will be stud earrings, I bought this kit online and these are just posts. I also bought some good backs and I will donate the other ones. So I unpackaged my earrings and the posts and once I started to kind of take off that back part, I realized that the button comes apart in three different pieces. The white one does as well. I was already going to have to use E6000 to glue on the post, so it looks like I'm also going to be gluing these pieces all together. It worked out well for the brown ones because it had a hole in the back and the glue just kind of poked through, and I just put the post on. With the white ones, it, they're a little bit bigger, so I did want the post a little higher so it doesn't cover so much of my ear. So you will notice that once I put on this final piece on the white one, I will flip it over. Instead of putting it on the hole, I will put it up toward the top. I know this stuff dries pretty quick, but I'm going to let them dry overnight before I even attempt to try and put them on. So I guess come back for an update on those. I'm pretty excited about this prospect. And since I donate the other kind of cheaper earring backs back to the thrift store, I'm going to get a new bag to put some of these better earring backs in. This is great. So if I were to make earrings for someone else and gift them, I have extra backs. Moving on to the last two items. One is this green hobnail tulip. I absolutely adore it. I'm going to add it to my tulip drawer. Still a few spaces left there. And the final item is this baby shower gift paper. It was vintage and too cute to pass up. I do have room for it, so I'm going to put it in my craft closet. Thanks for coming along with me, guys.